So I'm here with Jan McNeil, and who used to be with the OSU Extension Services, and this is going to be our November tips for uh, for this month. And you know, there really is a lot you can do. And although we're not outside in the garden, sure. this is much more comfortable it's right now. It's a little warmer, a little drier <laughs> inside, is. not quite so windy. So, what are some of the things that we can do, not only to get ready for winter, but to get ready for next spring? Well, one of the things that we've done this year, I think we've got a greenhouse, but we've decided that we're not necessarily going to try to keep it as warm as we have in the past. The cost of doing that is sure. a little much. So I've taken cuttings of my um, scented geraniums. I'm going to take some cuttings of, of uh, some of the other geraniums that we have and just put them in a, in a sunny window if you have them and just keep fresh water, replace the water on them once in a while so it doesn't get too yucky. Yeah, because you can't spring, just leave it in there no, forever. <laughs> it, by spring you'll have some nice roots and you can repot and you won't have to have um, uh, kept your greenhouse or anything Heated else up, warm. Yeah. But you don't need a grow light for them or anything, they should be okay. So I have a lot of different things, some Christmas cactus that I'm going to do and, and some other things. So um, that's an experiment for us this year. If it doesn't work, then uh, we start Price over. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, we have lots of seeds. Um, here, this is, we get lots of free seeds, we get lots of other seeds, and, and you go, okay, which ones did I, well, let's see, what's the year? Here, they're spilling out. Um, uh, you can test for viability of seed to see if they're good, because some are good for, for up to five years. Yeah. So you, you really kind of want to know uh, what's, what will work and what won't. And here's some damp paper towels, and let's see, we'll move this over so you can see. Um, some damp paper towels, and you take about 10 seeds, or if you have a lot, you can take a lot more than that, but, uh, and sprinkle the paper um, towel, the damp paper towel with, with the seeds, and then you can, um, yeah, like, oh, quite a few here, maybe 10 or 15, and then just roll them up, and just not so soaking wet, but just damp, and then put them in, say, a Ziploc mm -hmm. uh, bag, and label it for what's in there and then just check every once in a while and see and you could see how many have sprouted and if none of those seeds have sprouted then, you're, no. then you know you don't have any viability but if say eight of them out of ten you've got an eighty percent chance of what so you you've got a ratio to work with yeah. see if it's even worth planting right, them right that and that's like really the easiest way to tell if you have uh, have some good seeds well you know with with the colder weather Jan there is some mulching that we probably should be doing what are some just suggestions on that? Well, I, <clears throat> when I stop and think about what are the, the most tender perennials that I have or the mm -hmm. tender shrubs, and go out there and put some extra leaf mulch on them and, uh, and maybe wet it down a little bit if it isn't already wet so it won't blow away, yeah. and do some mulching there. We also, when the leaves fall on the lawn, we rake them into the flower bed. Great idea. And, yeah. and just let them be there. And then in the spring, whatever hasn't sort of started to compost right on the flower bed, we'll rake that off and then, then put our regular mulch on. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, that sure yeah. is. And, uh, you know, we were talking to you about with the greenhouse that you're not going to heat this year, mm -hmm. you can put the pots up rake leaves over the pots on some of the more cold Right, products. and we have a cold frame too, and we could put some things in there. We put pots, and say some geraniums or some fuchsias or some other pots along the south side of our garage, and then we just rake leaves up over it, and then maybe you might put uh, a tarp along just to keep them from blowing away sure. over the winter, but just that much alone. Um, say a, you might have a miniature rose or something, a lot of times they'll make it through the yeah, winter without true. anything other than that. So we just do some mulching. And people you know, always get confused about pruning, but quickly, there are some things that you want to do and some things you don't right now. Well, you really don't want to do, do much pruning at all now. When the, your fruit trees are dormant, you could be doing that later on in the winter. And spraying them. And spraying, doing some dormant sprays and take a look and see what you might need to do. But you don't want to do any hard pruning because if we have, say, some unseasonably warm days, then you'll get some new growth yep. popping and then that'll freeze and you're back to square one so uh, just do if you have to do some light pruning fine but just uh, hold off and it won't necessarily kill the plant but it certainly retards it's the growth gonna, in yeah, the spring. it's going to slow it down yeah. in the spring for sure well Jan you always are filled with wonderful information thank you so much so now you got a lot of things to plan on for yourself okay. not only to get ready for now but also for next spring enjoy Thanks a the lot. winter yeah <laughs>